When we planned this expedition, the biggest thing that shocked me was that it was the first shark expedition like this in Chilean history. We were going to be trying to nurture some of the young up-and-coming scientists to really become the future down here. When it came to the resource, when you look at a map and you look at the Juan Fernandez Island, it is a very remote place. It's 400 or so miles offshore. The initial part of the trip was the most difficult expedition all of us on the crew have ever been in as far as an emotional experience. When we got to the Juan Fernandez archipelago and started working, we saw our worst nightmare. We saw the ocean that we'd been talking about for years, the ocean where the sharks had been removed and there were no fish. And for us, it was hard. Because it's one thing to talk about it, it's another thing to get out there and live it. Then we began to spend time with the people of the Juan Fernandez Archipelago. These people had a tremendous impact on us all. Someone had stolen the ocean from them. They had very little awareness of that. They, for the first time, started to understand that no sharks means a lack of balance in the system, which could impact the harmonious relationship they have with the ocean from a long-term standpoint. And they're willing to fight for their ocean. They love their ocean. They know it's their children's future. So we met these people like Rudy on Robinson Crusoe Island. Creo que sentí que nos conectamos en forma inmediata. Yo con mi energía loca y ustedes con su pasión por la conservación. Y fue maravilloso. Now what we're doing is we're establishing this tremendous effort level with no results as far as capturing sharks, which is a result in itself, a result to leverage for change. voy a transformar en un embajador de Ozerts en este archipiélago y vamos a ir sembrando con todas nuestras futuras generaciones el amor y la pasión por cuidar nuestro ecosistema. I happened to be stepping outside to make a phone call and saw a blue shark come right down the side of the boat. We stopped out here in the middle of the ocean. Where is it? And that turned into really the stop that saved the science. Every day you, you learn something. I have found many things in Juan Fernandez, both in science and humanly speaking. In Juan Fernandez, there were so many species just in front of you. One thing that made me a little bit worried was not to find the sharks I expected because I was there 11 years ago and I know I saw sharks there. It makes me question what, what happened, what's happening, why, why, why is it like this? For some time, I've been trying to think about who is OSERGE? How can we maintain a presence in these places? And I feel like this trip really inspired and gave some clarity toward a bigger vision for our future.